Hello crafters and welcome to my channel Amy Makes That where I post content all about the Cricut like today's video which is on how to make a card with your Cricut Maker or Cricut Explorer 2. These cards are somewhat of a wedding tutorial but of course it could be any kind of card like for a birthday, graduation, etc. And all the products that were used in today's video will be linked in the video description. If you enjoy Cricut content then please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because I so greatly appreciate your support it really means everything to me. Now we can get into the tutorial. Say hello to voiceover Amy. Here are the cards in Cricut Design Space. So the first step in this process of making the card is for the Cricut to cut the cardstock with the printed design on it and then make a crease with the scoring wheel or the scoring stylus. In order to make this card, I'm going to choose the shape tool and the square tool, unlock it and change the size. Now the size of my cards will be four by six. For it to fit into the envelope, I'm going to make it five and a half by eight. Remember that this card is being folded because once it's folded, then it will be four by six. Next, to get the design, I made it right in Cricut Design Space. I clicked the text button and added my wording. This is for my bridesmaids on the day of, just thanking them for being there for my special day. I put it in all caps and changed the letter spacing to two. And I chose the font Athelis. I think that's how you say it. That is automatically in your computer. Then I wrote bridesmaid maid of honor, etc. And I chose my favorite font. This is from Creative Market. I basically used it for all of my wedding stationery and it did not disappoint. I am adding a swash to Bridesmaid because I liked that look. If you need a more intricate explanation on how to get swashes, then please check out the video. I will put the link for the card here. And I welded my design so it was all together. Then you can make the size super small because this needs to fit on the card. The next Step is to get this lovely scoring line so the Cricut knows to make this crease. You will go into the shapes tool and the first option is that line. So we will drag it onto Cricut Design Space and I rotated mine to 90 degrees so it was horizontal not vertical and then I adjusted it to the proper sizing. So I made it 5.5 inches wide which is the width of the card. Then to make sure it is in the center you will select the line and the square and click center. So in order to make this a print then cut piece because we don't want to cut out the letters of thank you for being my bridesmaid. We just want the Cricut to print that out and then crease it. You will highlight both the square and the text or the weld result and click flatten. The flatten tool is how you make a design, a print then cut design. So as you can see, now the Cricut will cut the card separately. The line didn't go away, I promise you. It's just sent to the back. So make sure you select the square and send that to the back. Then you will highlight both the flatten, print, then cut, and the line and attach it. That way the scoring line is not going anywhere and it will crease where you place it on your card. So now I'm duplicating the amount that I need. I have seven bridesmaids and one maid of honor, so I made sure I counted them all correctly. And then I'm going to click make it. Now, unfortunately, since these cards are a little bit bigger, you do have to do these all separately. Then we'll click continue. And as always, the first step is to print. So we will send this to the printer. Make sure you have your printer selected. I'm going to remove the bleed and then click use system dialog. So I see the preview of it and I always change the quality to best for my print and cut projects. This is the cardstock that I'm using today. It is from Michaels and is 65 pounds. I got these on sale, which I was very happy about. So I'm going to place them inside my printer and the printer will print my card. So it looks great so far. Again, no crease is being set yet. Then the next step is to set the base material. Now, since I used 65 pound cardstock, I'm going to select that as the material. As you notice, it'll say load the tools and material. Now you can either do two options here. You can either use the single scoring wheel or the scoring stylus, which I'll show you right now. 
This is the scoring wheel. I believe this came with my Cricut, correct me if I'm wrong, but I unfortunately didn't have the right tool. It needs to have zero one on the bottom of it, which mine didn't have, so I was forced to use the scoring stylus at this point. It worked just as well, so if you have the Cricut Explore Air 2, the scoring stylus will work great for your Cricut. So if you choose the scoring stylus, it will tell you to put that in the first clamp, which is clamp A on the left-hand side, and then put your fine point blade in clamp B, which it usually is in clamp B. This is the scoring stylus and where that arrow is, I'm pushing it right in clamp A. So when you push it, don't be afraid to really push it in there. It will click right in and then you can fold it. <laughs> Gave a thumbs up because we're ready to print. And I forgot to show this part, but I am attaching my card stock onto the standard grip Cricut mat. I always try not to touch the black registration lines because sometimes the ink bleeds, but I adhered it and then I will use my brayer tool to make sure that it is firmly adhered to the standard grip mat. As always, for any print and cut project, the first step is for the Cricut to scan. That's why those black registration marks are there, just so it knows how everything is aligned and it knows how to score and how to cut the card. So the first step is to score it, and then the second step is to cut it. And that was pretty quick. Now I can remove the mat from the Cricut and it made the perfect cut. I'm so happy with it. Always, always, always when you're removing from the mat, you want to flip it over. You never want to pull it directly from the mat because that's how your project will get ruined and it will be very warped. Again, you can still see that it was a little flipped. So what I did off camera was I folded the card and then I placed it underneath a bunch of books and that did the trick. But here you'll see that when the Cricut creases it, it makes it so much easier for a nice, clean, crisp crease. Wow, say that three times fast. So I repeated the same process for the rest of my cards. And now you have these perfect cards for any event, guys. It doesn't have to be for a wedding, but these were perfect for my bridesmaids on the day of the wedding. I can't wait to write a cute little personalized note for them. Just thanking them for being here for my special day. And as always, all of the products will be linked in the video description along with these craft envelopes. Now let's close out this video. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial and let me know if you've made a card with your Cricut machine in the comment section. I can't wait to give these cards to my bridesmaids on the day of my wedding. And if you decide to make a card with your Cricut, please do tag me and send me a DM on my Instagram because I always love replying and seeing your projects that you make because of me. I hope everyone is having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey.